Then Gladstone, after more than 100 years, a chunk of local history is no more. Engineers demolished the old trolley bridge in Gladstone this morning after they say it became a major safety issue to the public. While the bridge may have been forgotten by some today, it was the center of attention. Carla Castaño live in Gladstone where voters still advised to avoid that area tonight. Carla? Ken, the old trolley bridge was taken down and a lot of people were very concerned about that. They say they're going to miss the old bridge. Now, it was here for more than 100 years, as you mentioned, and a lot of people say it was a very sad day. There it goes. People packed in to watch. Very thrilling. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Oh, that, yes. was, that was yes. pretty select. Yes, it was. Throughout the day, with the bridge still in the river, hundreds came by Chief Charles Ames Memorial City Park in Gladstone. It's been a, a landmark here for forever, and so, yeah, I mean, all my memories, you know, as Gladstone's such a small town, you walk around, you come down to the river, you come along the park here, and it's just iconic. And yeah, it is sad that it's not going to be here anymore. I checked, and Union Pacific Railroad, the owner of the bridge, received demolition permits from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, as well as the various agencies within the state of Oregon, plus the cities of Gladstone and Oregon City. But they didn't really demolish the old trolley bridge just yet. They pulled it slightly from the south side of the river. A remote controlled winch that we're going to anchor to some heavier pieces of equipment. Once all that equipment is, uh, the cables and the equipment are secured, um, the winch will be operated remotely. That's because they consider this bridge so dangerous their engineering consultants haven't even been able to evaluate it up close. The biggest challenge is being able to assess this and not get anywhere near it. That's been the challenge. We, we have not felt comfortable with having people on it or near it. The home closest to the bridge was evacuated and others living nearby were asked to stay inside. Power lines were also disabled in case the bridge fell onto them this afternoon. We felt that the best thing to do was to accelerate its uh, further falling into the river and get it out of here as soon as possible. They feared the bridge would soon completely collapse into the Clackamas River after noticing Thursday morning it had moved four feet in just a few hours. The old bridge used to connect Oregon City and Portland on the old trolley line. A lot of people from Gladstone that remember um, this bridge and I was talking to one gentleman who had gone over in the 50s had, had gone over that bridge. And for many, it's a very sad day, but it's finally the end of the line for this old bridge. Small town community, we're all invested in it. Crews still have to drag the bridge onto the shoreline before they can cut it into pieces and then haul it away. They tell me they'll be doing that over the next few days. Live in Gladstone, Carla Castaño, Queen 6 News.